Welcome to Eaton. Simple yet powerful. Eaton Smart Learning for CBSE students. Fully 2D, 3D animated video lessons. Concept study material to reinforce learning. Download and use offline. Look at the pattern carefully. Follow the pattern and color the last shape. Look at this penguin. This image has one line of symmetry that is vertical symmetry. The letter A also has one line symmetry that is vertical symmetry. Well, there are three lines of symmetry and all these lines are diagonal. The three basic kinds of two-dimensional symmetry are reflection, rotation and translation. After reading through this, you will be able to recognize all forms of two-dimensional symmetry. An object has rotational symmetry if it looks unchanged after being turned, rotated by some specific amount less than a full 360 degree spin. The center point of the spin is called point of symmetry of the rotation. If the pattern of two squares is rotated to 180 degrees, we get the same pattern. And if we again rotate 180 degrees, it brings back the original pattern. This means that when we rotate the pattern and get at least one exact same pattern compared to its original pattern during the complete rotation, then it is called rotational symmetry. A and M each have a vertical axis of symmetry. The letters E and K both have horizontal axis of symmetry. And the letters H and X have both horizontal and vertical axis of symmetry. An axis of symmetry essentially behaves like a mirror. In place of the axis, if we place the mirror, then we should get the same shape. Let us look at an example. Look at this dice. We use it to play many games. In maths, a dice is called a cube because the length, breadth and the depth are all same. A cube has six square surfaces and we can see that all the six surfaces of a cube are same. If you want to draw this as a two-dimensional figure, then you have to think about all the parts of the rectangular prism. There are four edges on the base of a rectangular prism, so you know that there are six faces. Look at how this box has been unfolded. You can see the pattern that it makes. If you picture it in your mind, you can see how you could fold up the box again. The edges form the lines and you could fold it along the dotted lines to create a rectangular prism once again. Isometric is a method of producing pictorial view of an object showing all three faces of the object simultaneously. The vertical lines remain vertical whereas horizontal lines are inclined at 30 degrees. The three coordinate axes are called isometric axis. Three lines of the isometric axis represent the three primary dimensions of the object width, height and depth. To explore more content for conceptual clarity, give a missed call on 7043-722-733 and get a link to download now. E10. Simple yet powerful. To know more, call on 7096-722-733. Act now.